I'm Lindsay Burke and I'm a beekeeper in Northern Tasmania. We export honey all around the world, especially the, I'll just get that bee out of there. <laughs> uh, export honey all over the world and, uh, and I'm the president of the Tasmanian Beekeepers Association. There are 200 beekeepers in Tasmania and we produce the most unique honey in the world, Tasmanian leatherwood. It's an annual crop, but before we collect that crop, we've got to build the bees up and we do that on the farms of northern Tasmania. This is a very good hive of bees. It's a very quiet hive of bees. They're not stinging me and they've still got honey left over from the winter. And beekeepers are just like uh, gardeners. We propagate. We have to replace queens and hives every year. So what we'll do in next week, we'll come here and we'll take a very small little hive off and then we'll build that up and hopefully, hopefully with fingers crossed, by January we'll have a productive honey hive which we'll take to the west coast to get some honey. They even go for me. <laughs>the Tarkon Rainforest on the west coast of Tasmania and we're on the Cradle Link Highway. So this is where we get the famous leatherwood and manuka honeys. The leatherwood is produced from the flowers of the leatherwood tree and it only flowers in January and February each year and it only grows in a small patch of Tasmania's temperate rainforests. Aren't they beautiful flowers? This one's probably Oh, it's probably got a couple of weeks to go in full flower at the moment. If the weather can hold and we have some more warm weather, we'll get more honey and that'll finish our season off. When you have weather like this, where you need coats and things, all the fielding bees, and they're the aggressive bees, they're all back in the hive. They won't go out unless there is a reward. They are stinging boys. Wow. Oh, that is beautiful. All full of honey in between the frames. It's a light coloured honey and the flavour is just superb. And I'll just run my knife through there, my hive tool, and just show you how beautiful that honey is. That is leatherwood at its best. We don't take all the honey, we leave some for the bees to get through the winter. That's full of honey for their winter, so they'll come out of this into the spring is a very strong, healthy hive. The raw honey comes back from the west coast and we extract it in the cool extraction process. These are the large settling tanks that we've got and we leave them in there two or three days to settle and then we skim off and have beautiful leatherwood. And then it's stored and packed for markets all over the world. Well, we have ever-growing markets to Asia and we've sent many, many pallets away, but this is the first time that we've had a full container load, 20 tonnes of honey, the first of four that we're going to send this year. The demand for our honey is growing every year and we can hardly keep up with the growth. I started back almost 50 years ago as an amateur beekeeper, and now this year we're aiming for 300 tonnes of honey. Just a warehouse full of honey wonderful thing to have. <laughs>